welcome my dear students this lecture is about surface areas and volumes and we are doing exercise 13.2 and in this lecture i am going to take last question of the exercise that is question number 8 so i will read the question here a spherical glass vessel has a cylindrical neck 8 cm long and 2 cm diameter right so it is cylindrical neck cylindrical neck to a hemisphere right it is a cylindrical neck to a hemisphere it's given that height of cylinder and let it be smaller and the radius of what cylindrical neck and also radius let it be capital r radius of the what sphere is also given neck length is 8 cm long that is h is equal to 8 cm and 2 cm what diameter that is the r is equal to 1 cm because a 2 phi equal to 2 cm also we have the diameter of the spherical what spherical part is 8.5 that means phi is equal to 8.5 cm now r is equal to 4.25 cm r is equal to what 4. Point, r is equal to 4.25 cm clear so we got the value of a sphere value of r of sphere and value of r of cylinder and the height of a cylinder what we are supposed to find by measuring the amount of water it holds it's a vessel simply it will hold what liquid it in this question it holds water a child finds its volume to be 3 4 5 cm cube so it is given in the question that the volume of water which this vessel holds is equal to 3 4 5 cm cube then what we are supposed to do we have to check does this child who has calculated the volume of water equal to 3 4 5 cm cube is he right or wrong check whether uh, she is correct whether she is correct taking the above as a inside measurements and pi equal to 3.14 and pi equal to 3.14 so simple since vessel is composed of what sphere and cylinder right which implies volume of vessel is equal to simple volume of sphere plus volume of cylinder and we remember the formulas volume of sphere it's 4 by 3 pi r what is the r capital r pi r cube plus volume of cylinder that's pi r square h that's a small h now put the values it's 4 by 3 pi is 3.14 r what is the r r is 4.25 so 4.25 whole cube plus 3.14 multiplied by what r what is the r it's a 1 One multiplied by one multiplied by h that is eight. So you just do one thing. First, four multiplied by three point four multiplied four point two five multiplied four point two five multiplied four point two five and whole divided by three. And the value is three two one point three nine. And this three point one four multiplied by one multiplied by one in multiple eight. It's a two five two one. Right? And then simple. Add three two one point three nine and two five. 0.12. The value is 346.51 centimeter cube. So we found that the volume of what vessel, or we can say volume of water in this vessel, is equal to 346.51. But the question says the child found it is 345 centimeter cube. So we conclude here that the child is not correct. The correct value of the volume of the water. in this vessel it is 3 4 6.51 cm cube 
so we conclude the exercise number 13.2 now we will take the next exercise that's the 13.3 13.3 now let us first discuss what this exercise is all about exercise 13.3 in this exercise every question is based on a simple process known as recasting in this question what recasting now the question is sir what is recasting suppose you have a solid that is in the shape of cylinder right and its dimensions are given it's made up of metal now we are doing one thing we are increasing the temperature and this solid is get melting and this solid is getting transferred in some other shape let it be cone now the question will ask you if the radius of a cone is given calculate the value of its height that means here i can get the value of what volume of cylinder and here i know the formula of volume of cone in these types of questions we have to do one approach that is before the recasting and after the recasting the volume of two objects volume remains constant volume remains constant that means v1 is equal to v2 we have to use this approach in this exercise to solve all the questions from this exercise so let us take the question number 1 from exercise 13.3 exercise 13.3 a metallic sphere a sphere is it made of metal of radius 4.2 cm that means a metallic sphere is here and it is radius is given that is 4.2 cm is melted and recast into the shape of a cylinder that means this sphere which is made of metal is melted up and recast in the shape of cylinder so process is like this it's made of what into cylinder here we must know only radius so radius is given we can find the volume volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube into a cylinder of radius 6 cm the radius of cylinder is given what we are supposed to find we are supposed to find the height of cylinder so we will write simply let the height of cylinder be equal to h cm we will write let h be the height of cylinder right i will write here one word on recasting on recasting volume of what cylinder will be equal to volume of sphere right volume of cylinder will be equal to volume of sphere so volume of cylinder we all know it's pi r square h h is here and small r is here and then it's equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube it's a capital r here is capital r that's a 4.2 so this pi and this pi will get cancel out put the value of r small r and the big yeah, this capital r this is small r this is 6 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by h 4 by 3 multiplied by what r that's a 4.2 multiple 4.2 4.2 
this value 4 multiplied by 4.2 multiplied by 4.2 multiplied by 4.2 whole divided by 3 you can get the value I have already know this value this value is equal to a 98.784 98.784 this is 36 multiple h or we can say h is equal 98.784 divided by 36 do it it's a simple mathematics and we found that it's 2.74 centimeter so h is equal to 2.74 centimeter so simple we got the value of h what is h h is the height of cylinder which cylinder which was recasted from sphere and sphere is made up of matter right so again i will repeat some words this exercise is based on the recasting process you have given that we have an object not cylinder we have object is sphere and sphere is made up of metal and radius is given 4.2 centimeter but there is a process which process recasting process on recasting we convert this sphere totally into new object and the new object is cylinder and we know that the cylinder which we what got by sphere the radius of this cylinder is 6 centimeter but the question says if the radius is 6 centimeter find the height of cylinder we did only one thing that volume of cylinder is equal to volume of sphere then use the formulas pi r square h is equal to 4 by 3 pi r q pi and pi will get cancelled out simple so r square put the value here it's 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by h it's 4 by 3 4.4 4.4.2 4.2 4.2 and simple calculations we got the value 98.784 and here it's a 36 and h we got 98.784 divided by 36 that's equal to 2.74 centimeter hope i hope so that this question is what understandable to all of you whether you are from the harvard or from any other school in the jomon kashmir or from our, all over the world right i thank you for watching this video and i believe this video will be very helpful to all of you in this time of crisis which is due to the covid 19. thanks a lot allah hafiz Take care. I will meet you again in my next video, which will be question number second from this exercise. Till then, goodbye. Take care.